In preparing for this brief presentation, I gravitated toward the idea of PSSP celebrating its 45th birthday. Okay, um, so uh, the, the title of this presentation actually is Turning 45. Um, birthdays usually trigger a life review, so that's something I tried to do on PSSP's behalf. As with, my, as with any review of our past, present, and future, there's usually a lot of questioning and reflection, so I might be offering more questions than answers today. Questions like the one that hopefully you're now seeing uh, in the title, is 45 still young for an organization in a discipline, or should PSSP and SP start worrying about its legacy? Next slide, please. Uh -huh. Okay. So, okay. so while we're waiting for this slide, let me start with Psicologiang Pilipinos Appeal. I have been enamored with the field since my undergraduate days after taking a course on SP. I am still hopeful and excited about this field, which is why I'm still here. The appeal of this psychology of, for, and by Filipinos is that it was and still is a relatively novel solution to insert crisis here that has the potential to improve the quality of life of all Filipinos. It is a solution, imperfect and incomplete, but a solution nonetheless to crisis such as, next slide please, the indigenization crisis, next slide please, uh, imposition of Western or Euro-American centric psychology or the lack of representation in the literature as discussed earlier by EJ. Next slide, please. And issues such as oppression and perpetuation of our colonial status. Next slide, please. However, I often wonder if SP is all that, if it's that cool, if its vision and mission are that sexy, why does it seem like SP is still in the periphery? Why is it still not the mainstream way of doing psychology in the Philippines? Why does it seem like SP's appeal, uh, second, why does it seem like SP's appeal is localized or centered on a few? And third, as PSSP turns 45, has it matured? Is it experiencing generativity, productivity like no other, in a sense that it can now look after the younger generation of scholars and advocates? Or is it experiencing a stagnation crisis with time just simply passing it by? Next slide, please. Some cases in point. If we look at the Commission on Higher Education's required courses for undergraduate programs in psychology, Psicologiang Filipino is listed. So yay! but it is also an alternative to culture and psychology. Why does SP have to be an alternative and not the only and best option for undergraduate psychology students? Next slide, please. If we look at the breakdown by geographic location of PSSP's professional members this year, note that the unprofessional members are excluded. <laughs> Just kidding. The number is small and mostly concentrated in the National Capital Region and Luzon. Aren't we reaching our Visayas and Mindanao psychology siblings? Does the accusation that SP is really just psikolohiya ng Tagalog have merit? Next slide, please. And when we talk about SP, is it just Kapwa psychology? Uh, usually in conversations about politics, relationships, current events, you know, with some of my friends from the academe who come from other disciplines. So we usually do a round robin and they'd share their thoughts on the matter informed by their own ex expertise. Uh, they would turn to me and sometimes joke, oh, anong masasabi ng kapwa dyan? Or, so what, what, what can you say, what can kapwa say about the issue? As a catch-all explanation for everything, for anything, kapwa pa rin, kapwa still, kapwa na naman, again with kapwa. Next slide, please. 
Perhaps one reason why I raised the earlier questions is because I'm projecting my own insecurities, frustration, anxieties, and impatience with the field. But then again, if we're going to talk about legacy, is it important for PSSP and SP to be popular? How many are needed to form a critical mass for us to say that we've made it? Are theory building and indigenous contributions the point of it all? Next slide, please. SP has always been described as not just a discipline. Being a movement is part of its DNA. So SP scholars are somewhat expected to be social change agents as well, similar to what Alicia discussed earlier about transformative research. SP's appeal to me has always been that it aims to be relevant, responsive to the times, and hell-bent on improving the quality of life of all Filipinos. Next slide, please. So perhaps the more legacy-driven question should be, has PSSP and SP contributed to Filipinos' attainment of a magandang buhay, translated as the good life? I offer a vision of what that good life looks like, a life that is free from constraints so people are capable to pursue what they value or deem important. Next slide, please. Focusing on this goal would perhaps provide PSSP and SP some focus. Instead of worrying about being the mainstream, the emphasis could be on the question, mainstream for whom? Perhaps the metrics for success of an indigenous psychology is not solely about numbers, but on impact. And planning for and assessing PSSP and SP's legacy could be based on their contributions in the four areas of activities by Filipino psychologists, namely research, outreach or advocacy, practice, and education. The ideal scenario is for these four activities to contribute to a magandang buhay for Filipinos. Next slide, please. So a quick look at PSSP's website will give visitors a preview of the activities that PSSP usually holds. So look at the activities that merited their own tabs or links. So I, I encircled them. Uh, we have our core activity, you know, similar to DOFA, a yearly national conference which satisfies the research and education goals as with any other conference. We offer Linangan, an education-focused activity, which is a capacity-building workshop for teachers teaching an undergraduate SP course. Um, we're trying to be an outlet for research written in Filipino through the Diwa e-journal and the roundtable discussion of you and women in partnership with PSSP is one example of our outreach or advocacy activity. Finally, what I think is one of our strongest programs and partnerships would have to be the alliance of student organizations advocating for SP. I think some of the member organizations are, are, are here or watching, so hello to the Tatsulok family. Um, in 2019, around 40 student organizations were part of this alliance. And we try to strengthen our partnership with students through activities such as uh, an introduction to psychology in Filipino and a student-led conference. Next slide, please. That quick glance of the website somehow reflects PSSP's nature as an academic and professional organization. Perhaps our contribution has mainly been on developing SP as a discipline and, when able, developing a more ideological movement. Um, listening to Alicia and Christine made me realize how PSSP might need to be a little bit more proactive when it comes to the professional practice component. So I'm not sure if we have uh, activities solely devoted to professional practice. Um, what else do we need to do so PSSP and SP are remembered as an organization in a discipline that have contributed to the attainment of a magandang buhay? I'm going to wrap this up now. So next slide, please. Okay. So lastly, uh, part of this reflection involves looking ahead. And here I present short-term, medium-term, and long-term goals. In the short-term plan, the most urgent goal would be to survive. The pandemic has upended all our plans and has made it extra difficult to keep afloat. 
unfortunately, the organization has to generate income at some point to allow us to keep doing what we're doing. Um, another way to survive, possibly as a discipline, is to remember perhaps through the production of an undergraduate SB textbook that can be adopted. So teaching SB will be an easier decision for schools. The medium term goal is to cultivate partnerships with DOFA, for instance. That's why this is so exciting. And I do hope that a joint conference will be possible in the very near future. So hello to 2022. That will be our election time <laughs> uh, by, by then. The plan is also to take care of our current community. We're not a big organization, but that should allow us to focus on the needs of our, of our members. And ultimately, I hope that SP and PSSP continue to thrive in the, in the near future as a long-term goal through culturally relevant and culturally sensitive research outreach, practice, and education toward a magandang buhay for all. Okay, I hope I kept the time. Thank you very much, and I look forward to the discussion of our co-panelists, um, Atoy, Mamroji, and Mam Grace. No, so before